Today, we're exploring DevSecOps, a software development methodology that integrates security practices throughout the software development lifecycle, where developers, DevOps teams, and security practitioners are working together to build and deploy more secure applications. Let's dive into the benefits of implementing DevSecOps and how organizations can enhance their security posture by adopting this approach. DevSecOps stands for Development, Security, and Operations. It's an approach that integrates security into every stage of the software development lifecycle, ensuring that security is a fundamental aspect from the very beginning rather than an afterthought. Traditionally, security was addressed towards the end of the development process, often leading to situations where remediating vulnerabilities is more costly and difficult to fix. DevSecOps addresses this by making security a shared responsibility among developers, operations teams, and security professionals. This collaboration helps identify potential security risks early, implement necessary security controls, and continuously monitor and improve the software security posture. By adopting DevSecOps, organizations can enhance their security posture, reduce risks, and deliver software that meets the highest security standards. Here are the key principles of DevSecOps. Shift left. This principle emphasizes addressing security concerns as early in the development process as possible. By integrating security practices into the initial stages, potential vulnerabilities can be identified and mitigated before they become major issues. Automation. Automation is crucial in DevSecOps. It enables continuous integration and delivery of secure code, automated testing for security vulnerabilities, and deployment of security patches and updates. Automation ensures that security measures are consistently applied. Continuous monitoring. DevSecOps promotes continuous monitoring of applications and infrastructure to detect and respond to security threats in real time. This includes monitoring for unusual behavior and analyzing logs and metrics, and implementing proactive security measures to prevent attacks. Collaboration and communication. DevSecOps encourages close collaboration and communication between development, operations, and security teams. Breaking down silos and fostering a culture of shared responsibilities allows teams to work together effectively to address security issues. What are the benefits of adopting DevSecOps? Early detection of vulnerabilities. By incorporating security measures from the beginning, potential weaknesses can be identified and addressed early. Early. This reduces the risk of security breaches and minimizes the impact of any potential incidents. Continuous security testing. Through automated tools and techniques, organizations can continuously monitor and test the security posture of their applications. This ongoing evaluation helps identify vulnerabilities or weaknesses, allowing for timely remediation. Improved collaboration. DevSecOps promotes better collaboration between development, security, and operations teams. Working together from the start aligns their goals and priorities, fostering better communication and shared responsibility. This ensures that security considerations are integrated into the development process. Faster time to market. Integrating security practices into the development process eliminates the need for lengthy security reviews and rework accelerating the delivery of secure software. Regulatory compliance. By incorporating security controls and best practices into the development process, organizations can ensure consistent application of security measures, making audits and compliance assessments more efficient and reducing the risk of non-compliance. Enhanced resilience. Continuous monitoring and addressing security issues helps build more robust and resilient software. This proactive approach reduces the likelihood of successful attacks and minimizes the impact of any potential security incidents. Cost savings. Addressing security issues early in the development process avoids costly security breaches, legal liabilities, and reputational damage. The proactive nature of DevSecOps reduces the need for expensive remediation efforts, saving both time and resources. Who are the primary stakeholders in DevSecOps? Development teams. Responsible for writing code, designing software architecture, and implementing new features. In DevSecOps, they embrace security as an integral part of their work, 
following secure coding practices, and integrating security testing into their processes. Security teams, also known as AppSec, they identify and mitigate security risks and ensure compliance with industry standards. They collaborate closely with developers, providing guidance on secure coding practices, performing security assessments, and conducting penetrating testing. Operations teams. They deploy, manage, and maintain the software in production environments. In DevSecOps, they work closely with development and security teams to ensure secure software deployment and continuous monitoring of systems for vulnerabilities. Quality assurance teams. They test and ensure the quality of the software. In DevSecOps, they incorporate security testing into their test plans, performing functional, performance, and security testing to identify vulnerabilities. Management and leadership. They drive the adoption of DevSecOps practices with the organization. They set the vision, allocate resources, establish a culture of security and collaboration, and ensure that security is integrated into the organization's overall strategy. In conclusion, DevSecOps is essential for integrating security into the software development process, enhancing collaboration and reducing risks. By adopting DevSecOps principles, organizations can improve their security posture, accelerate software delivery, and ensure compliance with regulatory requirements. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more insights into optimizing your software development practices.